Yo, Adam Saxon with Gynacube, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a few tips for your data labels on your charts, just to help you along in case something wonky is going on. Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, data labels. Data labels can be useful on charts. Let's say if you got a bar chart, you're trying to figure out where that value is. It may not be exact and you want to see that number along with it just to be sure. Data labels can help you there. However, when you're working with data labels, there are some nuances that you should be aware of that may result in a less than ideal end user experience. So let's go through a couple things just to help you along and make sure that you're aware of those so that your users are getting the best experience possible. All right, enough of all this talking. You know, we like to do it here in Gynacube. Let's do what? Let's head over to my machine. So here we've got our awesome bar chart. Nothing unusual going on here. So let's look at enabling the data label first off. So if I select the visual, I come over to my format pane and I can come down data labels and I can turn that on. This looks cool. We'll see a couple things here. First off, United States, we see that it's a white background and it's below uh, the end of the bar. The other values are black and they're above the end of the bar. So let's go over to our properties and see what we can change here. First thing I like to do here for this particular example, I'm just gonna change the display units to thousand so we can see kind of bigger example of that. Nothing big going on there. So we can change the position. By default, it's set to auto. That's what's allowing the above and below. And so inside means it's inside the bar. Outside means it's outside the bar. And you can either do it at the end of the bar, at the base of the bar, or the center of the bar. So if I choose outside end, you'll notice that this then changes the behavior. And now my United States value is kind of half between and it's black. And so it's really hard to read. So this is not ideal. Here, let's go back to auto. So the first tip I'm going to tell you here is the color. Be careful when you're choosing the color. This can affect the outcome of the bar chart. If you want to change this color, the thing I'm going to tell you is see about changing it in your theme file as opposed to actually changing it from the color selector option itself. Why you may ask? Aha, let's take a look. Right now it's this default gray. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna choose the same color. And now what you can see is the United States went from white to now it's that color. Everything is the same color. That auto changing of light and dark for contrast to make it easier to read is now gone. Why is that? Well, when you choose a specific color in the color picker, it's going to use that color regardless of where it's at. And so you lose that auto behavior of the contrast piece. There's not an option here to say, you know, inside color versus outside color. So let me reset to default so that we can get back to where it was. So now if I don't change this color picker, it's going to do that auto contrast. So the thing that you can do is change the colors from a theme file perspective, and that will be your base color to go with. And then you can still take advantage of this auto color. Let's go ahead and change it. So what are my options here? Also with that half height where it shows up halfway between and you know, it's not going to use that auto color at that point. One thing I will tell you to do as a kind of a trick to make sure you always get what you want is to use a background. Let's just change the transparency to 50 and we'll make sure that the background is a darker color and then I'll change the text to a lighter color. So now regardless of where it is, either outside or inside, it's always going to have that contrast appeal to make it easier to read. And we can even go 20% contrast. And so now I can always guarantee that the value is going to be readable regardless of whether it's inside or outside. And that's just helpful from a readability perspective, accessibility, things of that nature, making sure contrast is right so people can actually see the values. And so the background is an option where you can maintain that consistency regardless of where that value ends up. Or you can try making sure that your theme colors are the ones that are there. Make sure your users are educated not to change the specific data label color. Otherwise, you're going to potentially break accessibility. All right, just a few tips for you to make sure that your data labels are always readable and to make sure that you're maintaining accessibility for your end users, which is always a good thing. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.